Hi. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that we ignore each and every day. A power nested deep inside of us that differentiates us from every other living creature. But before that, I want to ask you something. What do you see here? A bee. Yes, we all agree that it's a bee. I asked this question to a group of people and they all replied saying that it was a bee. But what if I told you that you were wrong? Would you believe me? Well, when you ask me that question, through my eyes I see more than just a bee. This small mere creature is more than just a bee. Without it, thousands of plants around the world would go unpollinated. The rate of fruits and vegetables produced will reduce, causing famine. Yet we still call it a bee. Without this wonderful creature, crops around the world will die. Farmers will go to sleep at night hungry. Without this creature, there would be no such thing as honey. Tribes around the world that rely on its annual harvest will die out. And that pancake you had for breakfast would be dry. Without this wonderful creature, those amazing gardens that you see colored with flowers would be pale and dry. Yet we still call it a bee. What I'm trying to get out of this is that just like the bee, every small thing that we do, every little action that we take affects the whole world around us. This is why I admire the bee so much. It doesn't know why it exists. It doesn't even know why it has a queen or why it has to serve it. Yet it still does, even if it means that it has to risk its own life to protect its colony. Just like bees, we as a species don't know why we exist. We do not know what our purpose in life is. Yet, we still believe that each of us, from birth we believe that we are destined to do something and we strive to accomplish it. We work so hard on attaining a bright future that sometimes we forget to live in the present. We humans have this weird mentality in our brains that we are superior to every other creature. We think that we are like the gods of this world. But the reality is, there are only very few things that separate us and those monkeys that are swinging in the bushes. You don't believe me? Let me explain it genetically. The Human Genome Project shows that there are over 3 billion codes in the human genome, of which 2% account for the way we look or our phenotype. Now, you see, I was doing more research and something surprised me. Their research shows that we humans share 50% of our DNA with a banana. Yes, you heard me. Every person in this room shares around 50% of their DNA with a banana. You can put that on your CV. If you guys are still a bit confused on what I'm trying to say, imagine this. You're at a convention uh, raising money for a certain cause. Let's say it's the Mata Hut Run. But this time you're not running. You are just a group of people just standing around. Let's say these red dots are the group of people standing around. The head of the convention is giving his usual speech about how this wouldn't be possible without you. None of this would have been able to happen if you weren't there. You're standing there thinking, I wouldn't have made a difference. If I left, there would still be these millions of other people here. So you leave. But have you ever thought, what if all those other people have the same idea? What if they all leave? Sooner or later, very few people will be left, and the head will be left alone with only nothing. What was the point of this example? It was to show how short-sighted we humans are. We don't even think that one significant person can make such a big difference in the world. But the bee has shown me that such a small thing can make such a drastic change on this planet. What was the point of this short talk? The point was to open your eyes to the fact that we humans are not so different from every other living creature. We are not the amazing 
breakthrough in life in this universe. We are just the same. Except for one thing, a power hidden deep inside of us, a power that has allowed us to evolve into the advanced civilization that we are now. Without this power, we'd still be living in caves. This power is the power to question, the power to ask why can't we cross our limitations, the power to ask why can't we fly, why can't we go faster. Without this, we would, we would just be no different from the monkey swinging the trees. This power deep inside of us is in everyone in this room. And this power is what makes us human. Thank you.